and you got to experience in my morning ritual now you understand why the windows are foggy now you understand why i got a little sweat and glycerin on my body is because you have been part of my morning ritual this entire time baby and look at my mindset <laughs> You know, one of the most common questions that I get <laughs> on my channel is, hey D, why are you so sweaty, bro? Why, why, are you, why are you sweat like a slave and shit? You know, why are you so drenched with perspiration? And if you haven't noticed already, you know, I'm coming from the gym. Some of you have even commented and said, hey man, is that FedEx in the background? Hey man, are you at the gym in, 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 uh, in Foothill Ranch? Because I, I actually have one of my main competitors who actually has, owns an office right around the corner. Uh, from my gym and a lot of them recognize it because they you know, they actually follow me on the channel and like dude Where are you man? Are you on are you at that 124 hour fitness? Uh, sport that's in Foothill Ranch and the answer is yes That's exactly where I am. That's where I start my morning ritual and I want to give you guys a behind-the-scenes peek of, of Basically what my morning ritual consists of because this morning routine has been actually one of the the handicaps that I've had and when I say handicap, I'm talking about handicap for a good, good cause. I'm talking about it actually gave me an upper hand. It gave me an advantage over my day. Because long ago, a mentor taught me that it starts with mindset. Those four words literally changed the course of my life. It changed the course of the way I see things and view things. And, and ever since then, there are a few things that, that I've practiced over, for over the years that allowed me to gain the upper hand in my day. And I want to help you learn how to implement these things into your day so that you can actually gain what it is that I gained. And it was just basically a stronger mindset because it is true, it all starts with mindset. And what I'm talking about mindset is like, think if, if, if our body was, was a software, our mindset would be the dashboard, right? But instead of like profile, it would say mindset. <laughs> instead of account details, it would say, you know, uh, uh, soul, like, like motivation. And basically everything that you stand for, instead of analytics, it would say, you know, uh, let's say confidence or however you're feeling at that day. And these things are what actually help you get throughout your day. And so one of the things or one of the reasons why I believe that this shift had helped me and why I believe that the, this, uh, this morning ritual has really played a, a huge role in my day is because... Without my morning ritual, before my morning ritual, before I learned how to implement these things, one of the very first things that I used to do when I woke up was I always thought of the challenges that I had ahead. And I always jumped right into emails. I always jumped right into work. And it was, it was this never ending process. And it got so bad to where I would actually dread waking up. I would dread going in. More importantly, I would actually dread uh, the date, the, the day of the beginning, the beginning of the day. And so it, it often caused me to hit snooze because I simply didn't want to start the day. And snooze, you know, besides being lazy, it was more or less kind of my way to avoid the inevitable. And I learned that by starting your day this way, if you start your day right away by grabbing your phone, jumping into work emails, putting out fires, going onto social media, um, and kind of looking at everyone's highlight reel and your inner dialogue is saying, man, how come I don't have that? How come I'm not getting there? How come I can't have that same opportunity? We need to, some, we need to take a step back, pause and realize what that's actually doing to our mindset and how important that is to how we're gonna treat the rest of that day. Because if we start off our day in this sense of defeat, in this sense of discouragement, it is going to ripple throughout our day. It's kind of like you ever see those uh, long domino mazes? Like you hit one and then the entire maze goes through? Well, it's kind of like that, right? Like you, you have this one defeat and if it starts early in the morning, it's going to ripple throughout your day. You're, you're just going to be on this bad momentum. And so what I learned was if I can avoid that for at least the first hour and dedicate the very first hour to myself, then I have this upper hand, I have this advantage. Now the question is, well, how do you do it? Because some of you guys already know that I'm married, I got three kids, you know, I'm the, I'm the sole income provider in my house, so I'm a busy dude, right? But you'll notice that I wake up early in the morning. A lot of my content, a lot of the videos are actually shot in the dark and you think it's nighttime, but it's actually before the sun comes up. And I was able to train my mindset and my body to want that because it's the most quiet time. And so in the morning, even if you're not a morning bird, and even if right now you're telling yourself, oh, but D, I can never wake up that early, I want you to realize that's your mindset talking, boo-boo. That's not you. <laughs> and so you kind of get a sneak peek of where your mindset is, but 
there's this one thing that I know is true, and I mentioned it in my content, is that every decision is based off of fear or pain and pleasure. And one thing that I do know about human nature is that we will try harder to avoid pain than we will to seek pleasure. And so sometimes it's easy for us to accept an excuse of, oh, D, I'm not, I'm not a morning person because it's easier for us to, to accept pleasure rather than avoid pain. The pain that you're avoiding is starting your day off wrong. But I promise you, just like anything, once you start it, you get the momentum going, it becomes easier. Anyway, the reason why this changed my, the course of my life is because for the first hour or two hours, now I'm up to three, but it's taken years to do this. Now I'm up to three where I don't pay attention to work email. I don't pay attention to social media. I don't pay attention to how many likes I got, how many comments I got. I don't compare myself to others. The very first thing that I do when I wake up, of course, I brush my teeth and, and wash my face or my contacts in. But the very first thing that I do is hydrate myself. If you know that when you're sleeping, your body's at rest for eight hours, you're sweating, you're, you're basically dehydrated by the time you wake up. So one of the most important things that you can do is drink, drink water, drink some, drink some water, some real you know, cold water if you can. And that's gonna change your mind state. It's gonna kind of put your internal organs at shock because it's a change in temperature. The reason why people feel better, you might feel better after you go to the gym is because you've changed your state. You've, you've gotten your blood flow moving and that's ultimately what you wanna do. But after I drink some water, the next thing that I do is I actually just sit and I, and you know, people call it meditate. I don't do the whole meditation, sit down or anything like that. I just sit and I just focus on my breathing, that's it. And it's hard to do because you know, you're, sometimes you get impatient or your mind drifts, but my goal is to stop my thinking, to actually control my thinking, you can't stop your thinking, but you gotta control what you're focused on and during this time, what I'm focused on is actually what I'm most grateful for. Meaning that, you know, I have a beautiful house, I have a beautiful family, my kids are healthy. Um, I came from the rock bottom and I made it to the top. And some of you may not necessarily have those things that you could be grateful for. And you really gotta dig deep because everyone's background's a little bit different. But I promise you, there's something that you should be grateful for, like holding a thousand dollar computer in your pocket, you having access to social media, you having, access to this day and age technology, that's something that you could be thankful for, right? And the reason why I do that is because I start my day off on a different wave. Instead of being a wave of negativity because I used to just be focused on work, now I started off on, on appreciation, right? And this is the power of morning ritual. And then after that, I go ahead and get ready and go to the gym. So the reason why, to answer your question, why you see me sweaty at, at, in some of my videos, or why I'm in the car most of the time, is because just as I had mentioned, I am busy, I work a lot. You know, I got, I got uh, three kids, I'm married, and I got a house here in Orange County, and um, you know, you, I chose to make the time to fit in these little pockets or these little videos to give back value because what I also learned from one of my mentors is that if you give enough people what they want, you in turn will get what it is you want. One of the most powerful things that I've learned, and it literally changed the way that I started to sell, changed the way that I, that I carried myself in public, and I wasn't so necessarily focused on myself all the time because, mind you, I had the first couple hours of focus on myself. You see, a lot of us are probably losing or a lot of us are going, I don't wanna say you're losing. What I'm saying is you're going in on the day with this disadvantage, this weight on your back because you never took the time to actually give yourself some focus. And you are the, the ship, right? You're, you're the vessel, you're the engine per se, and you gotta take care of your engine. And the first couple hours of taking care of your engine is probably the absolute most important thing you could do. But anyway, I always start my session at the gym and end my session at the gym in the sauna. And the reason why I do that is because it really warms up your, your muscles and it kind of gets your blood flowing, right? And so for some of, the, from some of you who've been to this gym in, uh, in Lake Forest, California, the 24 hour sport, you'll know that the sauna is right next to the pool, right? It's starting to look familiar. <laughs> and, um, and so anyway, as I make my walk from the sauna, to the car, that's actually when I've come up with the topic of the day that I post up online, that I post up on the YouTube channel. And if you haven't caught the YouTube channel yet, you're definitely gonna wanna check that out. 
you know, it's at Sales Remastered on both YouTube and Facebook. I post them on both of the channels. And if you're on Facebook, add me to your stream. If, uh, if you're on YouTube, you're gonna wanna add me to the stream. But this is where I plan out my topic. You know, some of you may think that I uh, uh, put a lot of thought into it, but I think that the best delivery is on the spur of the moment. Because that's how you train your mind to kind of work out like your muscles, is it gets your mind thinking. You know, another valuable lesson that I learned from my mentor is that if you want to, you want to force an issue, throw yourself into it. You know, um, meaning, and he told me this because I was so anxious to become successful that I became kind of worried and, and I tried to over prepare. Like I tried to do the most. And what that was doing was it was actually holding me back. He said, hey man, if you want to learn, throw yourself into it and don't be scared to scrape your knee. Don't be scared to bounce back. And, uh, and now, now as, as being a little bit older, I completely understand what he was saying. And it's basically like, hey man, you're the only one in, that's standing in your way to get to that next level sometimes. And it's so true, right? Fun fact, that's that FedEx office that you always see in the background of the vehicle. It's my mobile studio. Another fun fact, when I ordered these plates, it was supposed to have an and sign right here. And, <laughs> fucking bastards. I messed it up because I put an asterisk when I was supposed to put a star and I guess that's how the people in jail that make your license plate know how to put the and sign. So now I got this damn license plate that I even even correct, you know, but what it's supposed to say is say rev and new. For those of you who invested in the course, you know that that's my company. This is me entering the studio because a lot of times a lot of people think that I'm holding the actual camera. I want you to rest assured that I'm not. It's this thing that actually holds the camera. Check this out. That's what I see every morning. So when the car starts, it actually greets me, which is pretty fucking cool. Oh shit, it didn't greet me. Anyway, it says what up, Dean. But just so you guys know, I do drive safe. I post it up right here, and I'm gonna real quick so I can add you guys to me. And so this is the normal view that you guys catch, right? It look familiar now? You see the FedEx? <laughs> now you kind of get to see through my POV and understand where you know I'm coming from. But anyways, back on the topic of, um, of actually using uh, your morning routine as a way to give yourself the upper hand is because ultimately, you know, when, when, you, when, you, when you narrow it down and you get to the, to the guts of it all, all you're doing is taking time to maintain your engine. That's it. And people have different morning routines, right? Like you don't have to go to the gym if you're not a gym person. I mean, I do strongly recommend you go to the gym because it's taking care of your health. There's no point in wanting to be successful if you can't be healthful. Does that make sense? You gotta be healthy in order to, to actually help people. You gotta, you gotta be able to learn how to help yourself. And that's a discipline um, characteristic that you can always work on is doing things that are tough. And you don't need to go to the gym every day. You know, you just need to go to the gym period and just work out, get your body moving. But it does amazing things to your blood flow and your mindset. You see, mindset it, that you hear everywhere, right? Like it's all about your mindset, it's your mindset, it's your mindset. What they're talking about is basically it's it's your, your, your confidence, it's your inner dialogue. There's so many variables to mindset because if you start off your morning in this powerful way that I just outlined with you today, where you focus some time, not in email, not in work, not in comparison, not in finding out what the problems are for that day or what the issues are for that day, but you're actually focused on what good you have in your life, right? You're focused on, on the emotional feeling of you achieving what it is you want to achieve. You see, I do this in the morning and at night, and I hope uh, you could try this too. At night, I try um, to, to envision what it's gonna feel like to, when I'm at that next level. And everyone's next level is different. Your next level could be 100K per year. Some of you, your next level could be 500K per year because you've already hit 100K. So everyone's different, but whatever that next level is, is wherever you wanna be next. And so at night, try this at night, because I know that if you're like me, before at night, I used to think of all the, the, the things that happened throughout that day, I would replay the day. Most in particular, I would replay what I wish I could have changed throughout that day. And the thing is though, is whatever you think about at night, your subconscious thinks about for the entire time that you're asleep. Your subconscious 
is your is, is basically it's the chef for your emotions think about it that way and so when you know you might hear me talk about conscience and subconscious we all have it right and when we buy things or when we take action typically it's rooted from the subconscious state whereas it's then justified and kind of ruled to be okay to take that action from our conscience state think of conscience as like your 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 protector it's your safety it's your equalizer it's uh, what's right and wrong, black and white. Subconscious is, is what you hear inside. Like, oh, that's gonna work. I want it really bad. I want it right now, right? That's, that's to create the emotions. Anyway, the reason why it's helpful to do this at night also is because you're, you're actually triggering your subconscious mind to think about it throughout the night and you'll actually wake up in a different energy state. And so what I think about right before I go to bed is how it feels, how, how, how I feel inside when I already reach that next level. And so sometimes I'll envision myself in this huge house, or sometimes I'll envision myself with this amount in my bank, or earning this much per year, or my business at that particular level, or me in front of a huge crowd of people helping people. And I'm, I'm trying to think of how I'll feel at that time because it creates a, a energy that I'll leave my subconscious with. And when I wake up, it's easier for me to wake up, you know? I'm not, I'm not slow, I'm not sluggish. I actually jump out of bed ready because I want that, <laughs> right? And um, anyway, you know, if you do it in the morning also and you think about things that you should appreciate, things that you should be grateful for, it changes your perspective. By the time you go into work, I'll, you'll, you'll notice everything is not moving as fast. Everything is actually on your own pace. And a lot of it has to do is because your mind's already kind of been up and, and it's, it's already warmed up. It's optimized to perform. Whereas a lot of people that you will see after trying this for you know a couple of days, a couple of weeks, then you'll get it onto months and then it'll just become a habit. You'll notice the other people who don't do it. And when they don't do it, they come in sluggish. They come in with this uh, frown on their face, with this negative mindset. And I mean, the truth be told, you're gonna feel sorry for them, but you're also gonna wanna help them. You're gonna say, hey man, you know, like, hey, cheer up, it's gonna be okay. Like, you ever see that one person? Like, you're, you're, <laughs> I used to be in this state all the time, like, you just get mad at that one uppity dude, the one cheerful dude, like, hey, top of the morning to you, like, oh, man, get out of here, it's too early for that, <laughs> right? Like, I used to do that because I, I, my mind state was not primed. His mind state was primed. Now I appreciate that dude, like, I get it. <laughs> that dude's on one for sure. But, you know, we all get on one in our own way. And, and the key thing is, though, is just getting on one. And you want to get on one because you're not moving without emotion, right? And so a lot of these, these, uh, these hacks or these tips are basically just to create motion. It's basically to create emotion, right? Emotion is energy in motion, if that makes sense to you. And why it's, it's important, why it is effective is because you have a decision every single day of how good your day is going to be. Just like you have a decision of how piss poor your day is going to be. And I want you to know one thing is that you're going to get closer to whatever it is you're trying to reach if you give yourself the upper hand of making sure your day goes well, making sure your day is strong. And the, the best tool to actually ensure your chances of making sure your day goes strong or your day goes well is by adopting a morning ritual because like I said my mentor mentioned to me it all starts with mindset and you could take the first couple hours of your day to we all do right like no matter what I'm not saying you could we are like every single morning all of us we are training and conditioning our mindset in the morning regardless if you want to or not you are right now and so let me give you an example. The opposite crowd of what I just outlined in this video is training their mindset in a way where they're more focused on the fires. They're more focused on the drama. They're more focused on the bad things in their life. Meaning they're not looking at the silver lining. They're not looking at the opportunity. They're more or less playing the, the, re, the memory wheel of all the bad things that happened the day before of all the bad things that they don't want to happen that day. And there's this negative tone within that dialogue that literally conditions your mindset to operate in a specific way. And you need to pay attention to that. You need to realize that because that is the primary culprit as to why things aren't necessarily going your way. And of course, besides that, you know, we have another crowd who actually 
is working on themselves is 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 anxious to get to their next self their next improved self is anxious to learn how to become better at what they do is hungry for the lessons the tools the the hacks the secrets that give them the upper hand amongst the rest because that crowd understands that they're they're gonna have to face tomorrow meaning today will soon be tomorrow tomorrow will soon be next year next year will soon be five years and five years will soon be a decade but the question is where are you gonna be are you still gonna be waking up upset about your day are you still gonna be looking at every single thing that you don't want to happen within that day where are you gonna be where are you gonna be mentally right and if you're not growing, you're dying. Makes sense? So if you're not on this earth to try to get to that next level and try to be the better version of you or try to give back and serve, then then I hate to break it to you, bro. But you got you got this selfish characteristic inside of you that's just going to eat you alive and it's going to fill you with a ton of regret. And you're not going to like the way your life's going to be in a year from now. So save yourself some time because I went down that route. I know what that's like. And time flies, bro. Like if you don't have kids, when you have kids, you can realize how fast time flies. You know, we, sometimes we don't notice it until our birthdays or until anniversaries or until certain milestones. But time flies, bro. Like what, you, what you're focused on right now is going to be shit in about a year from now, two years from now. That makes sense? Your past can never be as big as your future. And I promise you that. So whatever you're holding on to your past that's keeping you behind, let that bitch go. Because you have a choice to rewrite your future. You could start today or you could start never every. What I can guarantee you is that some of us are going to move on. And some of us are just going to, they're not going to look back, right? And I hope that you're part of that crowd. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the sneak peek of my day and you got to experience some of my morning ritual now you understand why the windows are foggy now you understand why i got a little sweat and glycerin on my body is because you have been part of my morning ritual this entire time baby and look at my mindset i'll see you guys on the next video bye Ooh, I'm high off the power. Ooh, she gone off the power. Yeah.